aux ordi il m'a dit et normalement de m'a dit nous cause long si c'est la santé et hier après-midi qui nous que nous apprendre qui ministère de la santé pas être capable de nous et représentants pour cause un topique un topique pareil de m'a dit et vite nous disait road et l'autre alternative et pour ça nous dit merci docteur Mouti qui est capable toujours pareil pour de nous et du monde existement tiens un bon spécialiste qui compte docteur Mouti qui n'arrive de pays depuis samedi qui peut faire bon l'opération le bon cataracte dans l'isier et aujourd'hui nous grand sa spécialiste qui peut donner nous un petit plus de détails donc qui c'est ça cataracte dans l'isier quoi qui cause cataracte dans l'isier docteur Sid good morning welcome good morning Chesels how are you today great great today so your name is Dr. Siddhartha. Yes. So we can call you Dr. Sid. Dr. Sid, yes. And you are the president of Eye Surgeons of Tamil Nadu in yes. India. Yes. And you are also an eye surgeon. Yes. Am You're I right. correct? Correct. Okay. So in my introduction was in Creole. I was uh, t telling my viewers right. about what sure. we're going to talk about okay. today. And they can text as usual and they can call for well. their questions. That's nice. That's so nice. eye cataract. Yes. What is a what is eye cataract? Well, <coughs> cataract is not a disease. It's not a growth. It is a natural, a normal aging process. All human beings, if they live long enough, will develop cataract. Not only the human beings, animals such as cat, cat or dog, tiger, lion, all get cataract because any uh, organization which has a lens inside the eye to help them see, that lens over a period of time becomes cloudy. As aging, like aging process, the lens becomes older and the light permission becomes lesser and lesser it becomes opaque instead of being transparent, totally transparent. As the age advances, it becomes slightly opaque and the light entering the eye becomes reduced. So that is the situation called cataract. Cataract is just the opacification of the lens of the eye. Okay, that is a natural process which mm -hmm. occurs. But what causes the cataract? Primarily, it's the aging. As you become older, your lens becomes older too, naturally. There are other situations where cataract can occur, even if you are younger, in the sense that you have an injury to the eye, so it disturbs the normal mechanism, and then it, it can damage the lens inside the eye, causing a cataract. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you, have, uh, if you have to have a certain medication, such as steroids, for say asthma or for arthritis, for, for if you need to consume these medicines as a life-saving drug for a prolonged period of time, for a couple of months or years, as a side effect of these medications, yes, you can develop cataract even at a younger age. Yeah. Mm. Um, earlier days, we used to get cataract in the newborn child. Really? Yes. Uh, that is because if the mother uh, gets rubella, or uh, a fever, something like uh, measles, so on, when she's pregnant. So that could affect the developing child's eye, resulting in a cataract, and the child could be born with a cataract. Fortunately, with the vaccinations uh, prevalent, available and uh, uh, useful, being used by the people, that incidence has come down drastically. We don't find them anymore. Uh, as, when, as I used to see when they started practice about 32 years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. But how will a person know if they have cataract? Yeah. Um, it is generally a very gradual process. It's not that overnight you become blind or suddenly you find, uh, it's not a very dramatic event. It is a very slowly progressive event. As you progress, the cataract density becomes more and more, the vision drops down. It's like a it's like a fog, you know. It's a thin fog. You can see very well, but a little cloudy. Then it becomes the thicker fog. Then you don't see much. You can see only up to a meter or so. It is like that. It, the cloudiness develops 
over a period of time and the vision slowly goes down. It is painless. It is a painless progressive loss of vision is what is cataract. Mm -hmm. <coughs> if you're over 60, let's say 60 or yeah. over, yeah. and your vision starts to get like uh, cloudy or fuzzy yeah. and colors seem to be faded, yeah. does it mean that you may have the cataracts? Yes, uh, it is a likelihood that you are developing cataract, but cataract is not the only uh, cause of such blurred vision after the age of 60. There are other conditions like glaucoma, uh, diabetic retinopathy. These are also contributing to uh, loss of vision in the elderly. So we shouldn't assume that it may be just cataract. You can wait on it for a couple of years to get it operated now. So a periodic uh, eye examination preferably after the age of 40, once in two years, just have an eye checkup to check if the eye pressure is normal, if the vision is normal, if the retina is normal, especially if you're a diabetic, uh, annual checkup is a must. See, mm -hmm. we are looking at prevention because once what is lost is lost, it's very difficult to get it back. It's like a water flowing through a stream. It flows this way, it doesn't come back this side. We can only uh, build a dam and preserve what we have. So vision is something like that. So we, we cannot lose it and then try to get it back. So we need to prevent the loss. So annual check, just a annual checkup for diabetics and for non-diabetics once in two years. Have a check to see these parameters. If they are okay, then you're perfect. Your vision will last mm -hmm. forever. What kind of test will I, I professional give? Okay. Basically, we are trying to check for glaucoma. See, glaucoma is a condition where the eye pressure increases and damages the eye nerves, which is totally painless. The patient will not realize that he has glaucoma. Only by periodic checkup, we can find the glaucoma early. And before it starts damaging the nerves, we can prevent loss of vision. Therefore, when you go to the ophthalmologist clinic, eye clinic for checkup, they have certain parameters which they check on a routine basis. How's your vision? How's your binocular vision? How's your eye movement, whether it is properly coordinated? How's your field of vision? Like field of vision is how much you can see. See, now I'm looking at you, but I can still see my arm. So that's the field of vision, whether it has reduced and how's the pressure in the eye and how's the retina, health of the retina and the nerves in the eye. These are the routine things uh, one checks up when you go to the eye clinic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, does that mean that person will need surgery? If the cataract is uh, interfering with the normal activities, yes, he will need uh, surgery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But how that person will get ready for the surgery? How can they get ready for okay. the surgery? Basically, before we perform a surgery, his general condition should be well controlled. Like if he has a diabetics, or if he has hypertension, or if he has any cardiac problem. So those needs to be controlled, monitored, and if he's fit, then we can go in for surgery. Mm. How will the cataract surgery help the yeah. vision? Yeah. Um, the lens inside the eye is responsible for, for focusing all the light rays onto the screen of the retina. If the lens becomes cloudy, only part of the light enters, so your vision is hazy. So we need to replace that old lens. We are not removing it and throwing it away. We are replacing the old lens. We, we sort of clean that lens and put in an artificial lens inside the eye to permit the maximum light entering the eye and he may be able to see as before. It's a very simple surgery. Mm -hmm. yeah. What can you do to delay yourself of getting cataract? Yes, <clears throat> a good health, a balanced diet, control of diabetes. That is the most important thing. If you're a diabetic, you tend to develop cataract much earlier than the other uh, population. And a well-balanced diet is also very important. Dietary deficiencies can give you a cataract much earlier. So like, like some people 
develop cataract when they are just 50. And some people live healthy up to 70, 80, and then they develop a cataract. So that depends on, of course, the genetic makeup also. But pr pr what we can do is to have a balanced diet and control the diabetes. Mm -hmm. yeah. If a person have a cataract on both eyes, yes. so can they have the surgery at the same time for both eyes? Technically, it is possible. It is possible? It is possible, but what we generally advise is to have one surgery done and after a week, maybe we can think of the other surgery. Uh, this is f because of total over precaution. Mm -hmm. By some chance, you know, by some chance, because after the surgery, you're not in the hospital, you're in your house. By some chance, you get an infection in one eye when the other eye can be infected, then you lose both the eyes. That's a very, very rare occurrence. But it can happen. But it can happen. So we need to be very cautious because we cannot say, oh, it happens once in a million, that's okay. But that one in a million is also not good. <laughs> we don't want anybody to lose vision. So it's all right if you can wait for a week or a couple of days at least. Okay. For the next one. But simultaneous surgery is being done. It, it can be done. It's technically possible. But uh, to the patient, we consider all the other socioeconomic factors and then we said, okay, have it done after a week. How long is the surgery? How we do the surgery? How long is the surgery? Okay. Generally, the surgery takes about between 10 to 20 minutes. But the preparation is equally long. It takes about 20 minutes to prepare the surgery, to clean the environment, to drape the eye, and then prepare the position and so on. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. The surgery takes only 10 to 15 minutes. It's far more advanced now than it was earlier days. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah. What are the risks of Risk. cataract surgery? Okay. Now, the cataract surgery is one of the most advanced, most safe, and most rewarding surgery, very successful surgery. I would say 99.5% success can be obtained in cataract surgery because of the modern equipments and the modern training, uh, it is possible. But there are occasions, there are challenges. For example, if a person due to some reason, either economic reason or due to immobility, like somebody is bedridden, they will not be able to visit the doctor. For some reason, they postpone the surgery and the cataract becomes hyper mature. It becomes too old, like how the fruit becomes uh, rotten. Mm. That is a situation, is a very, very challenging situation and that can result in complications, yes. But we will be able to manage the complications also and provide fairly good vision after that. Yeah. So there is a risk of possible complications. Yes. yes. One is that if it is too old, if the uh, cataract is too ripe, then it becomes, surgery becomes very difficult. The second one is if by any chance the patient develops an infection after the surgery, like using contaminated water or not following the instruction of cleaning or um, like if there is a endemic conjunctivitis spreading everywhere and they happen to travel somewhere and obtain that infection from others, well, th 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 those are the most uh, risky things to have. Infection is the most uh, dreaded complication you can have. All the other complications can be managed, but infection is something very difficult to manage mm -hmm. and restore the back the vision. So you need to be very careful in the post-operative period to take care of the eye to keep it clean and follow the instruction doctors said, then the complications are less chance of occurring. Mm -hmm. So after surgery, once a surgery is being done, will that person, well, will that patient yeah. still be needed to wear glasses? Well, yes. <clears throat> now, now we have surgery and the intraocular lens, what we place inside the eye. So we call it intraocular lens. These lenses are now available for correcting distant vision and the near vision. So if we implant such a lens, the patient will not be needed to wear glasses to see far or near. It's like getting back your vision when you are 20 years old. So it's as good as that. But the, the lenses are a little more expensive than the lens which gives you a single vision. 
The single vision lens will allow you to see very well at the distance, but not near. You need to wear glasses to read uh, near. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does cataract make your eye dry? Yeah. Cataract does not cause dryness of the eye. Dryness of the eye is a different etiology, different cause, not because of cataract. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once a person gets a cataract in the eye, can they get it back again? Okay. Now, practically, no. Take, yeah. But it's a different type of situation that occurs after we remove the cataract and place the lens inside the eye. See, the human body has the capacity to heal itself. For example, you have a fracture in your arm and you immobilize it and keep it away from infection, it will heal and it join. Similarly, when we remove the old lens from the eye, the eye, the body tends to produce, try to produce a new lens. So sometimes this can occur and again start clouding. This is what we term it as the after cataract. A little bit of a pacification will be there, but the, the uh, patient does not require another surgery. All he needs is a small a laser light which will remove this small opacities. Mm -hmm. It can occur in about 30 to 40 percent. Now we are trying to design lenses which will prevent this migration of new cells to form cataract. So the, they are very successful. So the incidence of developing cataract, uh, rather after cataract, after the surgery, has come down drastically. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Talking about laser, so what is the difference between laser and traditional surgery? Uh, <clears throat> cataract surgery uh, is not actually performed by laser. It is a common way of addressing the process. It's called phacoemulsification. The advances, uh, advantage of phacoemulsification is that the opening we make is very, very small. It's just about 2.2 millimeters opening, like a pinhole. Mm -hmm. Through that pinhole, this uh, an instrument, a needle goes through the eye and the needle works like uh, vibrates about 15,000 times a second. With that kind of a vibration, the cataract becomes emulsified in the sense it becomes like a paste. Why? Because the needle is working, vibrating so fast, so it becomes like a paste. Because, and then it is sucked in and removed through the same hole, through the same needle. That's it. Whereas earlier, we used to make a big opening, open the eye, remove the care tag, mm -hmm. put it back, and stitch it. An eye patch. Eye patch and so on. So that changes the shape and size of the eye. Whereas now, it is the least intervention, 2.2 millimeter needle, and the needle does all the job and comes out. And the lens is folded introduced through this little opening and then inside the eye it opens up. So there is no need to apply a suture, no need to tie it, no need to apply a patch and you just walk out and it heals very quickly. Mm. Within a day or two you'll be able to see pretty well. Mm. So that's the latest uh, advanced uh, cataract surgery we do. But can you see clearly after surgery? When can you see clearly? Can you see clearly after yes, surgery? Yes, immediately after surgery, you can make out the difference how you were seeing with the cataract, how you're seeing without the cataract. So the next day, morning, you'll see very well. And the next question. Yes. Can your vision be worse after surgery? Uh, vision can be worse only in this case of complications. Yes, we should What can. kind of complication? Yeah. Number one is infection. The most dreaded complication is infection. That can reduce the uh, vision immediately, and we need to work on it like in a war footing. Within 24 hours, we need to clear that infection and uh, give the eye a chance to heal. So it, it has to be done, it can be done. Thereby, we lose about 10 to 15 percent of vision will be lost because the infection damages the very delicate structures in the eye. So we tend to lose uh, vision. The other one is a temporary 
uh, reduction in vision, but which over a period of time becomes normal. Like for example, if the surgery, uh, if I'm operating on a cataract which is very, very hard, you know, that produces, we need more energy to emulsify it, to make it into a paste. See, for example, if, the, if I have a small solid uh, uh, mud and I apply some water, it just becomes a paste very easily. But if there is a stone, I will not be able to do that. I may have to break it into small pieces and then grind it. So that means we are using more energy, more duration, and more fluid going into the eye, and then more swelling in the eye. That will take about a week or 10 days for the swelling to subside, and then the vision recovers. So this is a temporary reduction vision. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, what happens if the surgery is not uh, successful? Uh, successful, not successful in the sense the cataract can be removed by, uh, by some, it can be removed. Now, the, the new lens has to be placed in the capsule of the old cataract. We don't remove uh, in total. We remove only the inner portion. The capsule remains where we place the new lens. Sometimes if the cataract is very hard or very mature, then this capsule is not good enough to hold the new lens. So we will not be able to place the lens in the eye. So the patient doesn't see anything after the cataract surgery. Now, for these, such of these patients, we have developed a new type of lens which can be clipped on to the eye. It cannot, because there is no capsule. This cannot sit on the capsule. It doesn't have the support of the capsule. Capsule is like a hammock. It doesn't have the support of the hammock. So, it's so just yeah. So we need to clip on to the eye. These are the iris clip iris claw lenses, this can be clipped onto the lens. Then they see well. Et pour vous dire mon nom, qu'il est là pour moi, c'est ce rappel qui vous a dit la topic conversation, nous peut cause le cataracte dans les yeux. Et pour vous capable de causer que nous, pas oublier nous interview et qu'en anglais vous a dit, mais vous capable de causer que nous. Alors, ça fait le numéro de téléphone 428 97 64 et sur le texte nous, fait le numéro BZS D 50 01 70. So, Doctor, we have a text from sure. the people, the, from our viewers. Yes. Say, good morning, Carol and Surgeon. What is the relationship between blood pressure in the eye and cataract? Okay. The blood pressure in the eye does not influence the eye lens or influence the cataract. But the blood pressure in the eye can influence the surgical procedure. If the pressure is not controlled, then that leads to more bleeding during the surgery, unnecessarily bleeding during the surgery, and unnecessary pressure in the eye during the surgery, and that could complicate the surgery. So we need to keep the blood pressure under control when we are performing surgery. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have another one say, it's been a year since I've had a cataract operation. Is it because of the glaucoma that I cannot see properly? Now, vision, poor vision after cataract surgery has several reasons. If one has had glaucoma uh, prior to the cataract or developed glaucoma after the cataract surgery, and if it is not controlled, it could damage the eye nerves. When so, you say control, how can they control I mean, it? Uh, glaucoma is a condition where the eye pressure is more. So it keeps pressing the eye nerves. Okay? So every day the pressure is high, one nerve gets damaged. So after 30 days, 30 nerves are gone. It's like a 100 watt bulb. You pull out one watt every day, the light becomes duller and duller. Mm. So, we need to control the pressure as early as possible. Simple means of applying eye drops. The pressure is controlled and the pressure on the uh, eye nerve is relieved, blood flow is good and the glaucoma is under control. It doesn't damage the vision anymore. So we need to notice, we need to diagnose that the pressure is high and immediately control the glaucoma, then the vision will not be damaged. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if left un undiagnosed or undetected, it could continue to damage the uh, vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But is it normal to have a blurry vision after surgery? 
immediately after surgery, it's not going to be very clear because we have been using so many fluids inside the eye. We keep the eye open. We dilate the eye and there will be a lot of glare. So immediately after the eye, you may see better than how we were saying after the cataract, but it will take at least 24 hours before all these disturbances are settled and the next day you will have a much better vision. And as the period advances by one week, the vision will stabilize and you will have the best vision after one week. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Another text uh, this morning, it is in Creole, I will translate it. Uh, it is asking a question, if you wear sunglasses, does that mean it can reduce your risk of getting cataract or glaucoma? That's a wonderful question. Sunglasses, wearing sunglasses protects the eye from the ultraviolet radiation. In countries like such as or India, where there's plenty of sun, there's a lot of ultraviolet radiation. Like farmers who are working in the field, they're exposed to the sunlight all the time, unlike a person who's all working in the office. So they tend to get cataract much earlier because the exposure to ultraviolet radiation. So, and those who are living near the beach, beach uh, sand and then near the uh, snow area, they tend to reflect a lot of light. So we need to use uh, sunglasses, uh, ultraviolet protection sunglasses. So that will reduce the sooner you get cataract, that will postpone the cataract. Glaucoma is not related to ultraviolet radiation. Glaucoma is uh, mostly a genetically determined condition where the drainage pathway becomes clogged and the pressure builds inside the eye. So, see, the glaucoma, uh, let me add little more details Please. to this glaucoma. Glaucoma, is, see the eye, if you notice, it's a very soft eye. It's not like a hard stone, nor is it like a rubber ball where you can squeeze it. It has a gel inside the eye. A gel is not a stone or it's not like water. It is in between. So you may be able to compress a little bit, but not more. So that maintains the structures in position so that the instrument it is like a camera. The instruments are in aligned. You know, if it go out of alignment, you can't see. So to maintain that, there is a gel in the eye. And the pressure also has to be maintained inside the eye. New fluid comes in and the old fluid goes away. Any new thing comes, the old thing has to go away. They have to go. Go away. So that process of new fluid coming in and the old fluid going away, if it is interrupted, like if the fluid is coming in, but the outflow is reduced, then the pressure inside keeps building up. That is glaucoma. So the drainage channels, if they get clogged due to age or due to the configuration itself, sometimes they are very narrow. You know, if they get blocked, then the pressure slowly starts building up inside. So it, that's why it is not related to ultraviolet radiation or uh, related to hypertension, blood pressure or cataract. It is an independent development. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Some uh, patients experience uh, disappointment, let's say disappointment after cataract surgery and it seems uncomfortable to them. Why is that? Yes. Now the disappointment is that when we go for cataract surgery, we expect good vision after the surgery. And there are many reasons why the patient, after a successful cataract surgery, is not able to see very well. Because if the cataract is very hard, like I said, we will not be able to evaluate the condition of the nerves, the retina, whether they have been damaged or not. It is not just the lens which is responsible for vision. The eye is just an apparatus. The eye has a cornea, the eye has a lens, the eye has a nerve, the eye has a retina. All this has gathers the light, takes it through a nerve to the brain and the brain sees. Hmm. It is just an apparatus of capturing apparatus. It is like the camera. What we see is the television in the brain. The brain is the television. We, don't, we can't see a picture in the camera like that. So the eye is just a camera. It captures and takes it to the brain. So, we do not know the other health of the other parts of the eye. If the cataract is very hard, we can't see how the patient can't see outside. From outside, we can't see inside. So, if the nerves are bad, we remove the cataract, patient still can't see very well because the nerves are already damaged because of diabetes or because of blood pressure or because of glaucoma. If the nerves are damaged, then he will not be able to see. 
So that's the disappointment again. I've done a good successful surgery. I paid so much, but still the vision is not good because the vision has been lost much before the cataract has come in. We think it's only because of cataract, but the vision has been low much earlier itself. Mm -hmm. One text again, can blood, can blood pressure in the eye leads to blindness? Yes, indeed, yes. It can? Yes, it can. See, the blood pressure in the eye has to be, uh, that term has to be changed a little bit. There are two, two aspects. One, the general blood pressure in the body, which can affect the eye also. Another one is the eye pressure itself. That doesn't affect the body, but it affects only the eye. So it's, a, it's not the correct term to say blood pressure in the eye. Okay, it's the general blood pressure or pressure in the eye. Pressure in the eye, I said, is glaucoma. It can affect the vision. Now, pressure, pressure in the body, like we have blood pressure. See, blood pressure can affect the entire body because it affects the blood vessels. And in the eye also, the blood vessels can be affected because of blood pressure. They can break and bleed inside the eye. Okay? They like, can. Yes. So they can affect the vision, like how it affects the body. It can break in the brain, like you can have a hemorrhage in the brain. It can bleed because of the high pressure. The high pressure can affect the kidneys. Similarly, they can affect the eye also. Yeah, wherever the blood vessel is, it can affect because of the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. One more text, say, good morning. Can cataract be reactivated after operation? I wonder what they mean by reactivated. Probably they think after the surgery, can it occur again? Uh, can I it, think so as well. Can yeah. it uh, develop again? Yes, under some circumstances, maybe about 30 to 40 percent of patients, the eye tends to grow another new lens, tend to produce a new lens to compensate for the loss of the natural lens. So our, the new lenses which we are placing inside the eye are designed to prevent such occurrence. To, to a good extent, they can prevent this uh, new formation of lens. But sometimes they do occur as a very thin film and then the, you have a small loss of vision, which again can be corrected by laser light. Here is when the laser is applied to correct this little bit of haziness, which you may develop after the cataract, successful cataract surgery. This occurs maybe after a couple of years, about four years or five years later, you'll find a very thin film coming in and you'll see why my vision is going down after a couple of years. That's because of the thin film which develops, uh, which the eye is trying to produce a new lens. So that we can do a, a laser treatment and remove that cloudiness and they are back. It, the laser treatment takes hardly two minutes to, to treat and then they are back to normal. Yeah. Cool. One more text as we are talking. Yeah. I'm using Brimodine and Aquatis eye drops and yeah. I'm having irritation. Do I need to discontinue? Yeah, now the Brimodine eye drops is to keep the eye pressure low in case of glaucoma, to keep the eye pressure low. Um, we need to figure out why the irritation is there, okay? Is it primarily because of the medication or there is a side-by-side, a, side, a dry eye, okay? If it is a dry eye, if the tear production is low or the quality of the tear is different, then we need to substitute with eye drops. If it is, if the production is normal, if it is because of the uh, application of eye drops, over a period of years and years, you keep a, for glaucoma is controlled only by drops and you have to continue through your lifetime. So if you have been applying the uh, brimodin drops for so many years, yes, that can also cause uh, dryness. But we can't stop this brimodin because that is necessary to keep the pressure under control. If we can change the eye drops into another type of eye drop, which can is- Can we change it? Yes. There are several uh, glaucoma, anti-glaucoma drops which can reduce the uh, pressure. Brimodin is applied twice a day, morning and evening. So we can change to another drop which is being applied just once a day. Once at the night at 7 o'clock you apply and that's, it. that's enough. That will also control uh, the pressure equally well, but they may be slightly more expensive than Brimodin. Mm. Yeah. Talking about very dry eyes, there is a text. I have always very dry eyes. Yeah. I have to use eye drops regularly. Is eye drops dangerous? 
these eye drops are not dangerous at all. Absolutely. They are preservative free and they are not chemicals, they are lubricants. So you can apply as many times as you like through the day and they have no side effects and you can use it as long as you require to feel comfortable. Absolutely uh, no uh, side effects because of that. Primarily we need to look at why you are developing this dry eye. Okay? Is the production of the tears reduced because of old age or, or because of certain medication or the quality of the tear film is lacking. So accordingly the solution has to be used. If the, if, see the, eye, the tear layer has several, the tear drop has several layers in that including a layer of fat, fatty layer which is responsible for holding the uh, moisture. If the fatty layer is lower, then the tear comes, washes and goes away. It does not stay in the eye for long. So we need to find out what is the cause of dry eye, whether it is the quantity or the quality and accordingly substitute the medication. And why he is she getting dry eye? Some persons who are using computers for a long period of time, say from morning to evening as a profession, they tend to get dry eye and people working in the sun for long period of time they tend to get dry eye and people with on medications like steroids and other medications as a side effect they can get uh, develop uh, dry eye so we need to look at the cause and try to eliminate the cause while substituting the tears with uh, medication also et au qui fait que nous de la cour mon les ça fait au rappel qui aujourd'hui dans topic conversation nous pour cause le cataracte dans les yeux et pour capable Text nous, envoie nous petites questions, même téléphone nous, faire le nous l'adresse suivant, téléphone nous, le numéro de téléphone 428 97 64, et sur le texte nous, faire le D 50 01 70. Il y en a un autre qui peut texte nous en anglais, ça est vraiment bien, mais si vous pouvez texte en créole, il bien encore, mais c'est translate pour docteur. Alors, nous pouvons continuer avec nos topic conversation, et docteur, it's been a long time that I've had a cataract operation in both eyes. It went well. Then about two years ago, I, I went for a checkup. I was told that there is a dirt on my right eye. I was referred to the eye clinic. They gave me eye drops. Last year, I went to an another checkup. The dirt is still there. As a result, my vision is very blurry. Okay. Absolutely, this is a call from yes, someone. Huh? Absolutely no, no big concern about it. It's, it's not to worry at all. As I said mentioned earlier, the, once we remove the cataract, the body tends to produce another lens. You know, it's a normal repair process. So depending on the type of lens we have implanted in the eye, the newly developing lens fibers may cloud the lens. You may get a little cloudy. What about the dirt, they say? The dirt. It's not dirt. It's the new lens fibers which the eye is trying to create. Mm. So that comes behind the, the artificial lens we have placed and it starts clouding. It's like a dust on your window, window glass. It's like the dust on the window glass. You know, what do we do? Take a wet cloth, wipe it, it becomes bright again. So similarly, this can develop, as I said, in about 40% of the patients, you can develop this kind of a after cataract. It's called after cataract. It's not a dust. It is the eye is trying to produce another lens. So it comes and sort of clouds the glass. So we use a laser light instead of water to wipe the, like how we wipe the glass, window glass with a, a wet cloth. We use a laser called the YAG laser. So this laser wipes it off and you see immediately very well. So it's, the process takes about two minutes and not to worry at all. If, I don't know if that facility is available here. If it is available here, just get it done. The very next day you'll see very well. Not, not a concern at all. Et où qu'il téléphone qui dit ça a fait qui m'ont fait qu'il qui nous demande un docteur sa question il dit où ça date ça petit la paille pareil il dit il pas vraiment un la paille mais plutôt un petit la poussière qui pareil le temps on peut nettoyer vite ou à sa petite la poussière alors il dit un petit la poussière qui existe des mains nettoyer et il prend à peu près deux minutes pour nettoyer ça veut dire si on a encore sa petite la poussière il passe côté clinique au soir passe côté docteur Mouti même ou à quel pas bagarre sa petite nettoyage docteur Sid briefly how much is an operation for eye cataract? 
I know only details about how it is in India. I am not aware about the uh, situation here in Seychelles. Um, you can have cataract surgery done in India for nothing. Nothing? Absolutely free. Free? Because cataract, if you have cataract, your work goes down. Your earning capacity goes down. It is a loss to the nation, not only to the family. It's a loss, a big loss to the nation. Your workforce is reduced. So, and we have in India many, many millions of people below poverty. And they need help. So we as surgeons, we allocate certain time and certain effort and certain money to help these poor patients. So, so it's a big investment in India. It is, it is. And from, that is, of course, those who cannot afford. And we have a wide range of patients who are very well-to-do, who go in for this multifocal lenses, which gives them good distant vision and good near vision. Those lenses are pretty expensive. And How much? Um, they should cost about uh, 50,000 Indian rupees, hmm. which means 1,000, no, 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 uh, 50,000 is 10,000 uh, Seychelles rupees. Seychelles rupees, 10,000. The lens. This the is lens. A, Only the lens. Ma no, including surgery. In including, including surgery. surgery. It's a multifocal lens which, which allows you to see distance and the near. Yeah. So that is one extreme. The other extreme is totally free. In between, depending on the type of lens we implant, the surgery is the same. Surgery is the same, same technique we use, whether you're using a very, very ordinary lens or a very premium lens, the surgery is the same. The cost is only the type of lens we implant inside the eye. There are certain types of the new lenses, the newly advanced developed lenses, which will prevent this after cataract. Like for example, somebody said they have a, a dirt coming in, so, which will prevent this dirt coming in. So, those are the new advanced lenses, which are slightly more expensive than the uh, regular lenses. So, between 20,000 to 50,000, there's a range of lenses available from zero, 20,000 to 50,000, mm. depending on the type of lenses. The minimum will be around 20,000 rupees, Indian rupees. Dr. Sid. Thank you so much uh, for this morning. It was a short notice yesterday, but I thank you so much, you and Dr. Muti, for made it possible to reach us today in the Bonjour Cecil thank morning you. show. Thank you, and we wish you all the best. You are performing uh, an uh, operation today? Yes. Uh, I must thank uh, Dr. Murthy for inviting me here, and the round tablers also for inviting me to their country and uh, giving me an opportunity to, to serve people of Seychelles. And now uh, I have visited Dr. Murthy's place maybe for the past, this is the third time I'm coming in. So third we have time. been, third time, yes, we are looking at how we can bring the best technology to the uh, people who can uh, reach it. And in spite of the cost of the equipment and so on, we try and slowly, this is the first trial. So later I plan to bring in more equipments and then uh, try to bring the most advanced surgery to Seychelles people. So I hope we will succeed. Thank you so much Thank and you. have a Thank blessed you. day today. Thank you so much. <laughs>